Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we're going to be looking at the Mega Constructs Black Series Game of Thrones, The Iron Throne. It's kind of a lot of things stuck together, and I'm not really sure why the Game of Thrones sets are Black Series while Halo is not, but whatever. Now, I gotta say right off the bat that I have not watched Game of Thrones, I know nothing about the characters, and I'm going to be looking at this purely as the set itself, how it looks, how the figures look, and not based on the source material. All I know about Game of Thrones is that they have a pretty cool theme song. Um, so let's just take a look at the packaging. It kind of reminds me of the Destiny boxes, the way the figures are in the little windows on the sides. We got a view of the Iron Throne on there, and look at all of those swords. That is the primary reason why I bought this set, is for all of those swords. Plus, the figures are good for customs. Um, so, let's just look at the back real quick. More views, and... Oh, it says there's 15 swords in there. That's pretty nice. That's actually really, really nice. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right. Oh, and I've been uh, spray painting movie props for the past hour, so that's why I've got black all over my fingers. All right, let's see. How do we get this open? Is this going to be a pain in the butt similar to the Destiny sets? Okay, one bag of parts, two bags of parts, three instructions looking very ominous. Uh, yes, and all of the swords. Oh, that's so cool. Some more specialty parts. Now, the figures have to come out, and I am not sure how. Oh, they're taped on the side. I'm not keeping this box, so that's why I don't care if it gets ruined. Okay, this is going to take a little more work that I thought. Okay, there we go. So the figures are completely enclosed in these little plastic things. So cover comes off, and then you can see each figure with, I guess, their little emblem for whatever group they represent. So those, and the parts. All right, there, I mean, there's so few bags of parts, none of them are numbered. So I'm just gonna pop them all open. These harder ones require a knife. Oh, a silver platform. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, I guess that's what those little symbols stick into. This bag is almost entirely clips. Looks like primarily like dark gray and silver. Oh, whoa. That's interesting. I guess that's the back of the throne. Interesting, interesting. And let me see, there was another one. Oh, there's a bunch. Wow. That's a lot of swords. 
And look, there's more. Those are pieces I have never seen before. I would venture to say that they were probably made specifically for this set. And then we've got the bag of actual swords. And I am really excited because I am a big fan of swords in general. So we've got, let's see, one specialty sword, which we'll take a look at in a bit. And then we've also got 15 of these bad boys. That's epic. I feel like I say that word too much, epic and awesome. But it's hard not to say epic and awesome when things are epic and awesome. Oh wait, are there different colors? There are, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let me go ahead and build this and then we'll take a look at the figures. All right, there it is all built up. Um, there's kind of a strangely large pile of extras. Those obviously are supposed to be loose, but there's some parts that just like didn't get used. And I'm not sure if I missed something or what, because these are, yeah, it really feels like I missed something. Well, after checking the manual, it appears that these are really just extras because they're not even in the parts checklist. So, I don't know, that's kind of odd, but I'm not going to complain about getting extra parts. So let's go ahead and look at the figures. This set includes Aragorn, Elsa, the Queen of England, and a member of the Blue Man group. <laughs> Actually though, let's go ahead and start with Jon Snow. And again, I don't really know much about the characters, nor do I really care, um, but I do know the names because they were on the package. So this guy is kitted out in basically looks like Aragorn style, maybe a little closer to Boromir for those of you who have seen the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, and I really, I just like this figure because there's a lot of customizing possibilities. Basically all I have to do is pop this head off and then I have the perfect base for a medieval swordsman, and I really like that. It's pretty generic, looks good. Um, it's got like some Vambrace things on his forearms. The kind of front armor stuff is soft, and I suppose if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and remove them because he's just got pants. Um, he's got some boots, a belt, some silver highlights, the face is pretty good, um, and I think it's fairly accurate to the source material. Again, I haven't seen much of it, but I've seen a few just like photos and stuff of the character, and I think it looks pretty close for being so small. But again, it doesn't really matter to me. It just is a good generic head. I can pop this on a Halo Marine or whatever, and or even a Spartan, and suddenly I have a new character. Um, he's got his sword, which I don't know the name of, but it's got this wolf head on it. And personally, I really don't like this. I think that pommel looks very lopsided and odd. Um, but again, it's supposed to go by the source material. And you can sheath it. And you can kind of shift the belt around to have it sit on there. Overall, a pretty nice figure. I'm, I'm definitely excited about this guy purely because I can do some pretty cool medieval customs with him. Okay, and next we've got, oh, how do you pronounce her name? Daenerys? Daenerys? I don't know. I've never, I've never even heard the name pronounced. And that's a pretty interesting figure. It's got the really intricate printing all over the kind of, I believe these forearms first came on the Prophets from the Halo line. She's got this kind of chain looking belt strap thing slung across her chest. The head is pretty good overall. Um, some of the whites of the eyes are a little too low, but it's really not bad for the size. Um, I think this torso might be exclusive. Then she's got the long braid at the back, peg hole, and then the skirt, which is rubbery, and then she just has, I think those are Destiny Hunter legs underneath and a waist swivel like the jackals from Halo with full 360 degree rotation. 
This is, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this name, Circe? Circe? I don't know. I, I'm probably butchering most of these names. Um, she's a little less interesting than the last character, just because there's not as much going on, although this printing up on the shoulders is very, very complex and looks pretty nice. Her head is pretty good, too. She's got this little spot near her chin, and I don't know if that's purposeful or not. She's got a crown. Obviously, she thinks she's going to get the throne. Um, just black arms and a rubbery skirt. And again, the same leg mold, which I think was a Destiny Hunter. And I think, once again, 360 degree rotation. And then finally we have the Night King. And he is kind of odd to me um his hands are see-through blue and his head is also see-through but it's kind of a different color and it's kind of frosty looking um some of the details kind of get lost in that see-through blue but he does look pretty scary and i guess that's kind of the main goal that they were going for i think his forearms came from the halo brutes i think I could be wrong. And then I think this armor came from the Vikings, from the Viking longship raid. And then he's got the same legs, which actually I believe both of these guys have um, the legs from the Vikings from the longship raid. And again, this guy with a simple pop of the head and swap of the hands is suddenly just another medieval warrior or my own character. So I really like that. And the armor looks very nice. And then he's got this uh, blade weapon. It's like a spear, but it's got a long ice blade on the end. You can kind of hold that. That's pretty cool. I like that. And I like that end piece, too, because you can just kind of pop it off. And if you want to, you can just kind of do that. Makes me think of the Frost Giants from the first Thor movie. All right, now we're at the Iron Throne itself, and this is actually pretty sizable. Like, there's my hand in there. It's a pretty sizable build. There's one of the figures. Towers up way above them. Um, there's all the different swords that you put on there. All of them get used, and there are actually different colors. There's like four dark ones and then a bunch, I think 11 light ones, but they don't really tell you like where to put the dark ones they just kind of have you stick them around i mean maybe they're supposed to go up here but it's really hard to tell on the instructions which color is which um and it's kind of a fiddly build with all of these clips and whatnot and the swords here don't like to stay on and um this right here this peg is actually kind of being forced forward more than seems legal but overall it's pretty good, and if you're obviously a fan of the show, this is going to be a really nice thing to have. It even looks pretty good around the back. Um, I really like these little candle setups here. That's very nice. And the way you put a figure on there, we'll use the Queen of England since her little emblem is already up in there. You're supposed to take a clip, peg it into their back like so, Pose them like they are sitting and clip them in place. And thus they stay on the throne. That's pretty clever, actually. That's a very nice feature, I think, because otherwise the figures would tend to just fall off. Um, it's pretty nice. You get some good parts, especially all those swords and those um, exclusive pieces are pretty nice as well. And then up here at the top, you just pop this off. The instructions tell you to put the emblem in through the back, but actually put it in through the front. We will use Jon Snow's emblem. You just kind of peg it there. And then clip it back on, depending on who you want to claim the throne. And these pieces are actually really cool. They're kind of thick and magnify things a little bit. The light shines through them pretty cool. I like this actually a lot. Um, I don't, again, I don't care for the show at all, but I think Mega has made a set here that is 
it attracts everybody, not just fans of the show. Well, there you have it. That is the Mega Constructs Game of Thrones Iron Throne set. Um, like I said, it, this is a good set. It appeals, in my opinion, it can appeal to people that aren't a fan of the show just because there's a lot of cool pieces. The figures have really useful parts. Um, the thing that kind of really kills it is the price because the price is all over the place. I've seen it close to $30. I've seen it at $22. And then I actually, the only reason I got this is because I found it at Ross for 13 bucks. And I'd say $13 is an excellent price, especially because you get 15 swords. That's so epic. Um, 22 is pushing it. Like it doesn't feel like there's enough here to justify $22 and 30 is just out of the question. That's ridiculous. Even with the 15 swords. So if you can find it at, you know, 13 or 20 bucks, I would say go for it. 22 or 30. You probably want to be a fan of the show to consider spending that much on a set like this. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.